Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can use custom CSS to change the colors for the light box that show up for an image on your Squarespace website. To be super duper clear, what we're talking about here is a light box that's for either an image block like this or a gallery section like this. We're going to be customizing all of that using CSS today. Now, all of the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to show you exactly how these codes work so you'll understand what you want to change to make your own website uniquely yours. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention this tutorial is specific for version 7.1 because we're using image blocks and we're also using a gallery section. Now, if we hop into edit mode, I'm going to double click on this image block so I can show you how to enable that light box. When you double click on an image, select the design menu, and here you can toggle on Lightbox. You'll see the option for a dark or a light overlay, and that doesn't matter because that's what we're going to change with custom CSS. Now scrolling down here for this gallery section, if you select edit section and scrolling down in this menu, you'll see the Lightbox option. Toggle that on so a Lightbox is enabled. Once you have those settings ready to go, we're going to add custom CSS to change the colors. I'll select save, exit, and we're going to navigate to design and then select custom CSS. Now, all of the codes I'm about to share with you here are listed in the description below, but I'll walk you through them so you'll understand what parts of these codes you want to change. Now, let's scroll down here and first we'll take a look at the image block light box. I'm going to click on this option and we can now see this light box has a teal background. The color for the close icon has also changed. Here, the very first option in our code is to change the actual close button. So let's go ahead and make that a darker color. And now it's a dark gray. And let's go ahead and change the background color for the image block, changing that to a slightly lighter blue. You'll notice all we change were the colors. I've got a hex color code here, but you can also use a web safe color name if you want to. Like maybe you just want this background to be blue. There we go, completely customizable. Now I'll go ahead and close this option here and we'll take a look at the light box for the gallery section. If I click on any of these images, we'll get a full light box. And if we scroll down in our code here, we've got three things to change. This first one changes the background color of the gallery. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. It says background blue, and this part's pretty interesting. It says opacity one. If we remove this line of code, you'll see the background is actually slightly transparent. We can see a little bit of the images and the website behind this particular light box. So if you want it to be full color, add the line opacity one. And then right here where it says blue, you can also make that a web safe color name if you want to, or a hex color code, whatever you're comfortable with. Now scrolling down here, we've got the close button icon. I've changed this one to pink, but let's go ahead and go for having a vibrant yellow. There we go. And then last but not least, we have the color for the actual previous and next options. Because we have multiple images in this gallery, to click through the images while lightbox mode is enabled, we have these arrows, but we can change the color of those too. And how about instead of a solid white, we change them to orange. And there we go. However you adjust these using web safe color names or hex color codes, just make sure when you're done with all of these changes, you select save and you'll be good to go. All of the codes that we just used are listed in the description below. And now that you know how to update them, I hope you have a ton of fun customizing your website. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel on YouTube because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.